Hola amigos, this is Vidi from Vallarta Life and in today's video I'm going to take you on a tour to the Puerto Vallarta airport. I'm leaving Vallarta to go to the United States and then I'm returning back. So I'm going to show you all that, what to expect, what to watch out for and basically everything that's happening right now during COVID times in the airport. So let's get to it. So as you may already know, you need a COVID test to leave Mexico and enter the United States. There's actually a tent set up outside the airport doing the rapid testing for anybody who needs uh, their testing before they leave. Or you can watch the video linked up in the top where I did the testing in another location. So me and my husband are leaving Puerto Vallarta and we're heading to Las Vegas for a family emergency. We are just one hour before our departure time, arriving to the airport, checking in our bags. So yes, we're running super late. Guys, come with time, especially because it's going to be more than this expected time due to the COVID testing and then you still have to fill out a little bit of questionnaire i'll show you in a little bit as we arrived to the southwest counter they said you can't check in no more the flight is closed due to the proximity of it um luckily one of the employees is nice enough to let us still check in our bags We're, we have to quickly enter some additional information on a tablet just before you head in to get to the security gate um, there's an area where they're going to be checking your temperature with the big screen, with the big camera. They're also going to give you a little questionnaire for you to uh, fill out, making sure that you don't have any symptoms, that you haven't traveled anywhere else, all that stuff. That's where you're going to have to have a little bit of additional time because you have to fill it out before you get into security. I don't understand why he told someone to come pick us up at 12.30 when he knows it takes one hour to get here. Anyways, that's that. It's a little hard to run with the face mask on. Oh my goodness. He always does this. We get here like right at one hour or one and a half hours before. So I'm trying not to be stressed because I don't actually feel stressed. I'm just trying to calm down. I'm already having a very difficult week. But yeah. If we make it, we make it. If not, we'll just get the plane tomorrow. That's us. I can't run, I'm wearing combat boots. Oh God. You will pass by two duty-free shops on your way to the gate where your the international flights leave. There's also gonna be more places where you can find food and drinks. This is the international side. There's not that many gates. This is a pretty small airport. Okay, I get to get searched. But that means that they can't leave without me. So. Like I was saying, I know we select people sometimes. They'll, they'll put like a little marking on your little boarding pass and they can't leave without you so don't worry about it it's just like a more thorough search i guess because we don't go like in the u.s ladies and gentlemen my front door seat. has been closed we need to board in our seats so all electronics must be in airplane mode at this time thank you flight attendants arm and cross check your door to push back like in the u.s they make you take off your shoes they make you go through the little x-ray thing they don't do that here in Mexico, so I guess they just uh, randomly select a few people from the flight and they, they, they do a quarter. But that's it. The day I decided to wear my combat boots, I have to like take them off. 
twice and run. <laughs> You're gonna get two forms in the airplane uh, customs declaration form which is just one per family and the permit to enter the country and that is for each member of the family even children so those you will have to fill out the permit itself you will need to enter an address of hotel or wherever you're staying at if you're staying at an airbnb make sure you know the address or you know the name of the villa or house wherever you're staying the hotel name their address because you're gonna need that First, you're going to enter the customs area where you're going to give them the permit. They're going to stamp your passport. All that should be easy. You go get your luggage. Then you're going to go do another inspection. And that's where you're going to do the declaration form. You're going to give it to them. Here, they're going to ask you if you're bringing any fruit, vegetables, you know, any alcohol. You have to press a button. And it's just random again. You know, if you get thoroughly searched again or not. If it turns green, you're good to go. Your light turns red. That means they're going to thoroughly search your luggage. They're going to open your bags, everything. Make sure you're not bringing anything illegal that needs to be thrown away, blah, blah, blah. This is where you're going to find people coming up to you asking you what place are you staying at, what hotel, do you need a taxi, do you need transportation. It's just a trap for them to take you to go see a timeshare, waste your time, waste your energy, waste your money. Do not fall in this trap. Just walk straight, do not make eye contact and get out of there as fast as you can. If you're looking for a taxi, an Uber, or even transportation from your hotel provided from them, this will not be where you are going to find that, that transportation. It's going to be all the way outside of the airport. Only taxis have the permission to enter the airport. If you're looking for a cheaper taxi or an Uber, take the bus. This is the hack that I'm going to show you. Exit, take a left. Keep walking straight through the walkway until you see a bridge. You're going to cross the main highway to the other side. You're going to go up the bridge, get to the other side. You are able to find a taxi, an Uber, or even get the bus for way cheaper than you can find it um, if you take it straight from the airport. 